That's not bad, actually. So you, you can see what color you want. You just click until you get it. And there you go. So this table. Uh, what was this used for that was making the table? Doesn't say anything there, but it did say it in the book. So let's grab that. This table. Tube recipe blocks is what it was. No, 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 no. Shard picking table can be used to transform mysterious dust into shards, which is just this. So if I've got a stack of mysterious dust, I can only put one in at a time. Okay, let's go with what is this? Uh, dust picker. This is mining level diamond. That's great. Um, it doesn't say what color, what it is. It just has a color. So I guess. Oh, so it's sort of like a sieving mechanic of sorts. And this is actually grabbing or trying to grab some of this stuff. What are you doing? I've got 10 of those. I don't know what it might be getting because this thing is, is in the way. It might be grabbing some of these ingredients here. So let me put one in. Click again. I've got four shards so far. Five. Okay. I think it's trying to grab these items. Oh, see, it just grabbed something. Did it? Did it grab? Something? I has it confused. This is a bad location for this all of a sudden. I'm going to move this. And we're going to put it over here. And then I'm going to try it again and see if I get anything spectacular popping out of this thing besides just those uh, crystals. Or if it was just a little animation glitch of it trying to gather these items. Nope. Nothing really major there. Okay, cool. And that's a really easy way of getting shards. Neat. And I can put that on there. Let's put this back where it was. My uh, mining, my, my paxel is about to break. I, I has a sad. Oh, it's daytime. I've got, I've got a bunch of these. 64, in fact. Do I need to put down a fresh leaf? Is that what it is? Uh, let's grab a regular oak leaf, put it down, make the stuff. No. Did I do this completely wrong and I need to climb all the way up there and get it all back? <laughs> turn blocks into fluids and other blocks. Stack two or more tubes above the blocks you are trying to transform. Warning requires access to sunlight. Sunlight, yep. Samples liquids, leaves to water, cobblestone to lava. Maybe I should go a little bit simpler. Maybe I should go a little bit simpler. I have my bag on me. Yep. Okay. So let's just grab a couple of these. And in fact, I've got shears as well. So I can just grab this. Let's put this down and put two on top of it. Probably should have tested that. Yeah, it works. So maybe I've got too many of these stacked. <laughs> I thought 64 was the max you could go, but I guess not. Maybe I've got one too many or something. Difficult to tell at this point, but if I can get some water, then that would definitely help me out a lot better with my landing than trying to hit this bed. <laughs> that is going to be a very slow process. Grab this bed, put it over here, and I'm going to have it there. Because usually when you pop off the bed, you pop off at the head of it, about here in most cases, or here, or here, at least in my experience. So that's going to take some time. I do have, I do not have my crystal ball. I need to make that because I used it to make that table. There we go. And I can potentially use this to grab water, I think. Hmm. Use. That is so weird. Right, let me look up water. See if it actually shows an image of a crystal ball with water. Oh, there it is. Water filled crystal ball. Okay. So it's a thing that can happen. This is just going to be a very slow process. Dang on it. All right, I'm, I'm probably going to have to make some more. Because I want to say that for some reason, 64 shouldn't be that pro it's that big of a deal. What was it to make cobblestone? It's just a bunch of stone essence. I can make a bunch of those. I've got that. I've got that. Can I make... Uh, there's 32. Need more stone essence. Let's do another set. That should be 64 blocks right there. So what I'm going to do is build my way all the way up. Take off maybe like four blocks. 
and then I'll come back down and see what happens with that. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so I wait. I've already made a mistake. My Paxel will not withstand that. So what what options do I have for picks? Are there crystal picks? Iron pickaxe, wooden, stone, diamond, golden. Wow, these picks look really weird. Uh, living wood, living rock, crystal pickaxe. That's on a luminous crafting table. That's not going to work. Uh, what is this? Synod wow, we've got some crazy picks in here. Sandstone pick, no. Don't want a sandstone pick. Pickaxe of light? Thalmic gadgets. Okay. More refined storage. Mystical agriculture. Mystic iron pickaxe. That sounds interesting. And then there's soul steel pickaxe. What is this made from? This is mystic iron. And this is soul steel. Okay, so how do I make mystic iron? Smelting raw mystic iron, which is made from a whole a soul ingots, iron ingots, and heavy ingots. I've got two of the three. How do I make iron? Smelting iron, of course. <laughs> uh, I thought the maybe an iron essence. Can I make those? No, not easily. All right, there is going to be a way of doing that. I guess I'm just going to have to make do with the. Um, I thought I had a crate. I do have a crate. I haven't. I haven't grabbed all of them yet. No, I did. Boo. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take some of the uh, sticks that I have and make some regular old uh, stone paxels. That's going to be sad. Oh, and I just realized that stone paxels are actually made from Tinker Tool versions. So I guess I'm just going to make myself a good old fashioned pick. <laughs> And go from there so that I can mine my way back down, because that's going to be a thing. Let's make two just in case. Get an upgrade. I'll give you an upgrade. All right, so I now have enough materials. I don't have enough cobblestone. I'm going to need to make another set of that. Recipe for that is here. Thank you. Put this here. Let's try this again, folks. I'll be back uh, once I've got this sorted. But hey, on the plus side, look, I've got water. Woo, oh, oh, so this is like a bottle. Wait, I can drink it? Okay, oh, and it gave me haste for three minutes. <gasps> you beautiful thing, you. That's awesome. That's going to help me with my quest to get up here. All right, so um, and now I'll be back a little bit better of an attitude. Ah. Oh. And I'm back down at the bottom. Now, I think if I break this, that goes someplace. I need a bucket. What kind of buckets are there? Unless, the, of course, there's iron buckets. Unfired clay buckets. I could use those for some water. Uh, let's try making one of those. At least I think I've got some clay. Yeah. Uh, can I make another one for the lava as well? That's only going to be a one-time use, but then again, that should work. Put one in here, put one in here, grab the heavy ingots out that I had earlier. I've got a whole bunch of heavy ingots. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of heavy ingots. Okay. Cobblestone, get in there as well. Cool. Now, there we go. Clay bucket. Clay bucket. And I should be able to use one of these to pick up this water, which the water color looks really pretty. I still have that haste going on. There it goes. It just, just expired. So let's... Break these last two. Of course, it's nighttime, so I have no way of testing this just yet, but I'm still convinced that I can do a whole lot of these stacked. We'll see going forward, though. Uh, actually, I'm going to set my spawn point, and I'll be right back. Ah, there we go. All right, so now when I die, hopefully I'll land here again instead of 800 blocks out that way, <laughs> or, or whatever way it was that was... I think it was that way. That was really terrible. Ugh. Anyway, um, and I didn't see any other islands or anything along the way. It was pretty sad. Uh, so let's let's see about the next part. I think it was lava that I was needing at this point. Um, two recipes, a soul block, and ice. Which, of course, those are both going to require um, 
daytime, but that's all right. Let's get rid of that. I've got some other stuff to put away here. I've got a bunch of sticks to get rid of. I've got this crafting slab that I can probably put in my bag, actually. Let's do that. As well as this hasty drink. That's pretty good. I know it I it was a play on words there. Did you get that? Hasty drink. Anyway, um I thought that I had there we go. This goes in here. Keep my other pick on me and this mystic what is it? Mysterious dust block. Can be used to make raw soul blocks. I thought that I had more of those. Alright, well, we'll put that in there and this is full now. This is very full. Very full. All right, well, I've got the glass. I need... Oh, wait, I needed that mysterious Asul block. Or raw Asul block for the daytime. And then I just need... Um, that was pretty much it. Just daytime, really, in order to move on with that. So let's move on to something else while we wait for it to be daytime. Resources, coring recipes, unclaimed rewards. I'll grab a food crate with pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread's actually really good. Coring recipes. To start this chapter, you first need to complete the shards quest. We did. This. Shards can be infused into core blocks. Then place the required blocks placed around it on any side touching the core to transform the core block into the needed block. Note, you will notice that the blocks you place around the core block will start popping out. That's normal and part of the infusion process. You can use core stabilizer blocks to stop blocks to popping out. Core stabilizer blocks. Hmm stabilizer blocks light medium and heavy core stabilizers interesting which require gold ingots and such yeah, but we probably need to at least do this first in order for it to, to work i'm kind of thinking we've got that over there we've got the giant <laughs> giant terror tower of terror over there uh, which i might dress that up as well and then i'm thinking maybe we have our core processing stuff over in this direction uh, actually, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Quest book. Let's put away this pumpkin bread that I'm not going to be needing at the moment. And I have a whole lot of, of quests to claim. Um, can I just grab them all at once? No, I don't think so. So let's just grab each one. And I'll be back. It wants me to just grab all these different types of shards, which I already did. So that shouldn't be a problem. All right, what do we got? We've got two food crates. Those are the, probably the most boring ones. Uh, I've got cheesecake and southern style breakfast. That's great. Throw those in there. And then we've got two common crates. Those are the next most boring. A barket. That's not going to last very long. And a wooden laser gun. Does that have any charge on it? Durability 60 out of 60. Can I can I use that? No. It, uh, it's not no it's fully charged okay what is the t the controls for the tinker laser gun there isn't one i forgot you need to have a target in order to shoot it so i'd actually have to have an entity to be able to like pew pew away at this thing so i might keep that with me that's a pretty good weapon it's not very damaging but i mean it's a ranged weapon nonetheless so between Keeping things away with knockback 10 and my wooden laser gun, I should be able to take out a bunch of decent melee enemies. Of course, a skeleton's probably going to be a problem. Let's hope that it doesn't come to that. So let's see what else we have. Oh, wait. I had other rewards. I've got a builder crate, which could be useful. Let's see what's in there. 64 sky blocks. Oh. Okay. Question. Wait, these aren't inverted. These are regular sky blocks. Boo. So sky blocks, if you have a redstone signal on them, can be used for making uh, basically a block that looks like the sky with nothing else, like any other blocks or whatever in the way will not appear, but only with a redstone signal. Inverted ones, which I might be able to use those to make inverted ones. Nah, I need redstone torches for that, though. But uh, inverted ones are automatically sky uh, looking. So <laughs> that's the thing. What do we get? We got crayons. We got red glasses. We got badass glasses. We got alien antennas. We got a bunch of the same stuff. Um, let's take a look at the badass glasses. 
<laughs> How about the red glasses? Can I even... Oh, those are baubles. So I could wear glasses over my glasses. <laughs> those look terrible. And then I could put these on top. So I could have glasses on glasses. And I could... Could I have multiple alien antennas? I can. I now have multiple antennas. <laughs> Okay, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. My my chests are overflowing at this point. I'm gonna. I am definitely going to need more storage. I has a sad. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that between episodes or something like that, so you guys don't get too uh, crazed out from me messing this stuff up. All right. Uh, I also have a bunch of those to put away. It is almost daytime. I'm a bit excited about that because I've been kind of waffling for a while. But we've got all these different things here, and we need to make rock cores, block of iron, shard of the sacred land. Wait, what? This block of iron rewards ironing it. Block of iron. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Rock core. Coring recipes. This is just a regular shard of the sacred land rock core. Rock core. And this says shards can be infused into core blocks and place the required blocks placed around any side touching the core. Transform the core block into a needed block. So I need a rock core. Okay, so rock core, uh, and then there's rock core, but no, rock core. That's not bad. I might have close to enough of that. Let's try it. No, I'm missing the stone slab. So let's do those. And now I can make it. And that gives me four. That tells me that those are a highly reusable item, something that uh, is popular to need to be made. It's a cheap recipe, but let's continue on. I've got that, uh, random crate, and then we need light core stabilizer, but I can't make that until I can make some other things because those require, what is it, gold for that? So let's add that to the list. Uh, what if I just look up core? No. All right, stabilizer. <laughs> that required gold and mystical rods, plus a, sh a soul machine case. What? What? A soul ingots and crystal catalyst and lapis. All right, so I'm going to have to have made at least gold and lapis, which is down that quest line a bit. What else am I going to need to make for that? Um, a soul ingots, yeah, yeah. All the crystals plus another crystal. Obtained by throwing a crystal into the nether portal. Oh, okay, so then I need obsidian, which, hey, it's daytime. It's daytime. Uh, everything gets up, put on hold. Let's go do this. <laughs> See? Wait, I got a common crate. Get out of here. Four glue. That's great. Um, let's put this down. Really? Really? Why you know Amplify Tube? <laughs> Why? Why you know? I'm going to cry. All right. Well, I've got my, uh, where is it? My water-filled crystal bowl. And you know what I could do? What I should have done is look this up in the Hearthwell book. Let's see, key me mechanics, other machines, amplifying, two to eight. <laughs> I've got it up to 64 or some crap. Okay. Okay, mistakes were made. Probably this has been split up into multiple episodes by now, and people have been like screaming at me saying, No, Valen, what are you doing? You can't do that. Well, now I know. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's pillar my way up, and I'll mine my way back down. Be back soon. All right, there we go. So I think that's one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the bottom block. And I found out that I could I could repair my uh stone paxel with some cobblestone. Just like that. <laughs> yep. Same thing with these picks that I've made. Ugh, which is really annoying. So therefore I might might just get rid of those. I can't get rid of them because I've got my magic pouch. Oh, gosh. How do I shut this thing off? And I can't. Just, oh, I just can't. Anyway, I've got lava. 
So that's a thing. Uh, I could potentially pick this up. Oh, that was running off the edge too. <laughs> that's going to be making a mess. Oof. Oof. Uh, I might put some arcane stone around the back there just to keep it from going too far. Might put some some decoration on this thing. Make it a little bit more uh, prophetic. Yeah, that that looks a little bit more doable. Gosh, sixty four blocks. What was I thinking? <laughs> I was thinking I could go go big. I could make multiples of those now because I've got lots of these amplifying <laughs> tubes. Tell me, I need a lot of them for the future, please. Maybe I might. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So anyway, I got those. Let's change this back to no, I don't I don't want to see that. That's just a memory of bad things going forward now. Let's go back to this. And I can make this. Yes, got that. Now, a soul block and ice. I need to put glass under there. So let's do that. And that shouldn't take very long. And then uh a soul block. Mysterious dust block, I believe. Is what it's used to make. Oh no, that's used to make the raw Asul block. What did I do with those? What did I do? All right, Asul. There's none in there. Okay, so click here. Raw Asul block recipe. I need clay. I can make clay. I don't have enough. Clay. I need to make clay. <laughs> Quick, before the sun goes away. I don't want to lose this. Um, there we go. Make this. And then I can make a raw Asul block from a clay block. Make one of those. I make one of those. I get three. Excellent. Okay, and we got rain. I hope that doesn't change this this stuff. I got ice, but I don't know how I can how I can pick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know how to pick it up. I use my obsidian displacer. Oh yeah, silk touch matic All right, so let's put down raw soul block. Oh, and it's still working. Thank goodness. I was really worried. I'm like, no, it finally is daytime and then it starts raining. No, it worked. And I wonder if this will work with this too. No, it won't even let me charge it back. So I think I have to mine it up with my Paxel. There we go. Oh, that didn't take much at all. And is there anything useful for a raw Asul block? Just cooking it. Okay, fair enough. So I'm going to put down a couple more. It doesn't take very long. It takes a little time, but not, not too much. Okay, and then one more just to get that cooked up. Cool, and then I should be able to claim a few more quests. Finally get through this thing here, random crate. And then the last one is just making obsidian, which, um, hmm, that just involves placing down lava and, and yeah, let's, let's just do that. We're going to place this here. And I can put the lava in here, which is going to use the bucket. Yep, and then I can put the water on top of it. And then pick it back up again, uh, I believe. I don't even know if I need to put it up against the block or if placing it there will, like, displace it. So let's do this. There we go. And then I can displace this. Nice. <laughs> oh, the chapter's completed. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! Thank goodness. All right. Click on here. That gives me the last random crate. This entire chapter is done. We've got some crazy mechanics that we've learned, and now we can start making some other resources, as well as going to the nether uh, once I end up getting enough obsidian, which will take me some time because the sun just went down. No! No, sun, why must you curse me like this? I take too long waffling about in these methods. And I would need to make more buckets anyway. So maybe I work on making some iron so I can get some real buckets. But let's open up some of these cosmetic crates. We got googly eyes. Oh, now you're talking. Now you're talking. I can put this on here. Take off these. Yeah. But these glasses are behind the googly eyes. Okay. I can't wear these ones. The 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 badass glasses are pretty good, but I don't know. I gotta I gotta go with the the these crazy ones. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the only one dying. Yay, thank you, Ember. You made me feel better. Okay. Okay, so um, next. <laughs> I've got an uncommon crate. Let it be good. Light blue night or That sucked. 
that really sucked, but I'm going to use those to dress up this area here, I think. That is that is for certain. This is I'm just gonna place them down so they're not in my inventory right now. Got a food crate. This is just gonna go straight in the chest. Wait, what were those? Honey soy ribs. Eh, they're they've got a lot of saturation on them at least, but they're not really going to be that useful. Put away this chicken dinner. This bark it. I tell you, this thing is silly. You can you can use it, but I think I'd more rather use it for like burning things than anything else. So let me put down some more cobblestone. So that that'll automatically Wait, what? Will this work during the night? Are you It's okay. I'm happy it's working. I'm happy. I'm just really sad that I was being so silly about it. 